good afternoon everyone my i'm sage shrivastava and uh, i'm going to present on psychological state of physician assigned in the euthanasia so first of all uh, what is euthanasia uh, euthanasia is the painless killing of a patient suffering from an incurable and painful disease and um, in india euthanasia was made legal on march 2018 a uh, public uh, impress litigation uh, litigation was filed by uh, an ngo named common cause on year 2005 seeking certification of passive euthanasia it took uh, 13 years for indian government to legalize euthanasia now we uh, talk about please uh, go back to previous slide now we talk about physicians uh, under euthanasia um initially doctors uh, were asked to heal and save lives but now circumstances circumstances have led them led the patients to ask them to end their life to end their pain and suffering um it is hard for uh, it is difficult for some doctors to perform this task which is completely opposed to what they actually signed up for so this research paper will explore how the doctors assigned the euthanasia struggle between conflict of ending pain by ending life and um, what what are their thro- uh, thought process and their mental state um by analyzing few documentaries and some journals next slide okay uh, so uh, these are the a uh, few documentaries i did my analysis on and a few journal journals uh, next slide Okay, so doctors anti euthanasia argument. For this, I analyzed the documentary named uh, "Dying with Dignity." So while surfing to find content, um, uh, under uh, I found this documentary, and this documentary examines the negative impact of uh, legalized euthanasia in Belgium and the Netherlands. It shares a medical and counseling perspective of the doctors. one of the doctor and in this documentary one of the doctors quoted we can't force people to live but that does not mean it is a duty on the side of the doctors to perform euthanasia uh, this clearly signifies that uh, how doctors are against it and uh, in this documentary doctors clearly made it clear, uh, made it clear that uh, they are not going to perform euthanasia and this is unethical so next i did the psychological analysis for of these doctors by interpreting emotional intelligence uh, and uh, for uh, carl Lod- carl uh, rogers views on personality so what is emotional intelligence now uh, the concept of in, uh, emotional intelligence also known as uh, emotional quotient was introduced by uh, salve and mayer they described it as the ability to understand use and manage your own emotions in a positive way to communicate effectively and empathize with others overcome challenges and diffuse conflicts now psychologists believe that some individuals are high on emotional intelligence and some lack in it so uh, now we interpret this uh, emotional intelligence of these doctors we can say that these doctors may come under lack of emotional intelligence as they are struggling with decision making making of what is right for them and what is right for their patients and are unable to overcome the challenge of uh, this emotional management now if we uh, uh, now if um, the carl rogers views on personality carl rogers state that people with high self concept and self esteem are uh, generally flexible and open to new experiences so that uh, so that they can continue to grow and self actualize uh, these doctors uh, so now we need to take these doctors with carl rogers view these doctors may have low self esteem and self concept as they are facing difficulty in accepting this new idea of euthanasia and they're stuck on their belief of uh, what is ethical and acceptable next slide i'm oh, sorry a previous slide doctors pro euthanasia argument uh, under this i analyze another documentary named this i don't 
call it killing so this documentary is about the views of dr delot on euthanasia he uh, practices euthanasia in belgium he uh, receives requests from patients almost on daily basis and he he has performed euthanasia on more than 100 patients he needed to ex- uh, uh, he quoted we need to accept that we can't cure everything and our role in this uh, um, we need to accept that we can't cure everything when we can't cure it is our uh, it is our duty to relieve the patients from their pain so i'm still doing my job as a doctor he stated that he can only perform euthanasia on one person uh, one patient per month due to effective reasons so now if we interpret it, interpret dr delors views to those emotional theories that is emotional intelligence uh, we can say that uh, he may have a high emotional intelligence as he manages his emotional emotions positively by giving himself a period of time to heal and process uh, uh, before practicing on another patient he diffuses uh, the concept of what is ethically correct by justifying his actions as his duty and uh, the second theory that is carl rogers views on personality um, so if we interpret this uh, theory to the doctor's views we can say that he may have a high self esteem and self concept as he has accepted this new idea of uh, euthanasia and again he justifies it as his duty so next slide now i come uh, now i like to conclude by um by saying that uh, i think it's uh, first of all uh, for accepting this new, uh, new idea of euthanasia it takes uh, it includes perception after uh, like after analyzing the documentaries it is clear that different doctors have different perception about euthanasia some see it as at as end of suffering and some see it as killing some doctors have accepted euthanasia and their duty to relieve the patients from their pain but some doctors are unable to accept it as their duty and feel pressurized while performing it and uh, second is the emotion emotional trauma they go through that is these doctors are facing conflict in their prof- professional life conflict of deciding what's ethical what is best for their patients they go through this uh, rigorous pressure of making choice all this leads to a psychological stress that includes anxiety mood swings alienation from their friends and family which eventually can affect their ability to make sound decision making which a doctor cannot afford these doctors who have made the choice of uh, practicing uh, euthanasia uh, also go through trauma and uh, emotional breakdown some have, some eventually decide not to perform euthanasia again and uh, some take time and uh, time to heal and process before performing on another patient thank you